you take any traditional fabric that is not stretchy, but if you flip it with the angle of 45 degrees, then it's going to be stretchy. So let's say that we, I have this piece of fabric. It's not very much stretchy. If I stretch it this way, then it's not working. If I stretch it this way, then you can see that it's actually not stretchy. But if I pull it in 45 degrees, let me just get a hang of it, then it's gonna be quite flexible. I'm not sure if you can see it, maybe I can move around, okay? So if I pull it, if I stretch it in 45 degrees, then it's gonna be quite flexible, not as elastic, but it's quite flexible. And the reason for it is that the way the fibers inside of the textile are aligned, when we are using the power to push the fibers diagonally, then they align so they create a little bit of space. This is used, for example, when you are creating tight clothing, a dress that, it, that should, a slim fit dress that should fit very well, then you use the property of aligned fibers inside of the fabrics to make the fabric a little bit more stretchy so the person inside of the clothing can breathe. So the same thing happens with our rectilinear structure and every structure that has two-way crosses that are aligned vertically and horizontally with the walls. And when you have our swatch and the swatch is printed with the lines being diagonal, then what it does is that it, when I try to stretch it this way, then it stretches a lot. When I try to stretch it this way, it also stretches a lot because I'm pushing in the diagonal to the lines that I have now. Since these are, this is the horizontal line and this one is now the 45 degrees. So you can see it's much more flexible than, it, than if I try to stretch it like this. So choosing the way of the filament is being uh, printed and aligned also can impact the way the our swatch or our textile will be uh, flexible. Of course, uh, if we did the same thing, but if we aligned the fibers inside of the 3D printed textile to be aligned with the vertical and the horizontal uh, wall, then it wouldn't work in this way, it would be the other way around. So it's always what is crossing the 45 degrees of the alignment of the fibers. So if we had it aligned in the vertical and horizontal section, then this would be very hard to push, but it, should, it would be very easy to push in this way. Let me check the flexibility of gyro.